Hi, and welcome to another week of the Techno Dinosaur Meets the IT Geek. My name is David Logan, the IT Geek. I take the problems, the complexity out of technology, remove the jargon. This week with me is Willie Nicol, our Techno Dinosaur. Where are you, Willie, and how are you? Hello, David. I'm very well, thank you. I'm based in Troon, South Ayrshire, Scotland. Brilliant. So this week, Willie, if it's okay with yourself, I'd like to, for the viewers, I'd like to know a bit more about yourself, how you can help people, what you do, and how you can help people. Okay, David, how long have you got? We have got four minutes. <laughs> I'm only kidding, right? My name's Willie Nicol. I was a police officer for 31 years, followed by six and a half years in corporate security. And I use all of that to... Uh, experience, training and skills in my new uh, business as a personal development coach. Essentially what I do is I help people successfully address those areas in their lives that are preventing them from getting the results they want. And that could be their personal lives, business lives, voting lives, whatever it is. Whatever's holding you back, I can help you address that. So it people that has been held back. So do we see that as being kind of risk aversion or kind of comfort zone kind of areas? There is an element of both of that, a aversion to risk and being unwilling to, to push out of our comfort zone. Um, it's a kind of hackneyed phrase, that comfort zone. If we stay in our comfort zone, we're not going to develop and prove, move forward. Um, I don't yet like using the word issues and obstacles and problems because these words are inherently negative. And if we focus on those words, we develop a negative mindset. So I like to use the very neutral word things. We've all got things. We've got things we want to improve. We've got things we want rid of. We've got things we want to have less of, more of, whatever. So people come to me with their things. It could be anxiety, stress, lack of confidence, overwhelm, whatever. And they have recognised that these things are preventing them from getting the outcomes and the results they want. And we work together to address said things, get rid of them, improve them, delete them, whatever it happens to be. And I often say to my prospective clients, what is it you want and what are you prepared to do to get it? And that tends to focus the mind. And I would urge anyone who has a thing or things to think about these two questions. What do you want and what are you prepared to do to get it? Okay. And your clients, how do you prefer to work with them? Do you prefer to work one-to-one -one or do you do group sessions? sessions? Yeah, I, I have been doing one-to-one -one and... Before lockdown, it was face-to-face, -face, um, which can be more effective at uh, achieving uh, the outcomes we want. Um, obviously, now, because of lockdown, I'm doing all my coaching online. Uh, another disadvantage of, of uh, lockdown was that I was just at the point of branching out to group sessions, where we'll take a group of people with either similar things or disparate things, and we bounce ideas off each other. So, one-to-one, -one, just now online, but that will expand to group sessions online and ultimately when the lockdown is lifted face to face. Good, good. Your sessions generally, on average, your average client. I know, I know you, you go from one extreme to the other extreme, depends on what the background is, what problems, obstacles they've got. But at an average, how many times does that client have to come back to see you to resolve their issue, if I can call it that, name it that? It's almost like, how long is a piece of string? Yeah. Um, did you see these words, obstacles and problems there? And remember, it's only things we have to get going, right? But what I say to people that come to me um, as we explore what things they want to talk about, and they will ask me that question, um, how long 
will we have to work together? And how much will it be? And what will the effort be? And I say to them, if your car develops a loud noise and you take it to the mechanic and you ask him to look at it, you don't say immediately, how long will it take to fix? And how much will that be? Because the mechanic will say quite honestly, until I've looked under the bonnet, I don't know. So it would be dishonest of the mechanic to say, I'll fix it and I'll not cost you 100 quid. Just as it would be dishonest of me until we've had a conversation further to say, yeah, this will be X amount of sessions, Y amount of money, and you will have to do this amount of effort. This is a collaborative approach between the client and me to discuss the best way forward. So although that seems, or might seem that I'm being evasive, I think that uh, is the answer to your question. Um, I can also say, like a mechanic opening the bonnet of your car, I won't know how long it'll take till I've opened up the top of your head and looked inside. Does it look pretty? Um, it's a figure of speech, David. Thank you. Right, that's great. That's great, Wally. That's uh, good for this week. We're heading towards the end of time now. Uh, but to the viewer, if you've got a question for Wally, comment below. Send, if, if you don't want to do it publicly, send Wally a private message. I'm sure you'll be okay with that, Wally. Of course. If you want to keep up to date, if you want to see the latest video when it's released, subscribe to our YouTube channel. The person that gets that's a hundredth subscriber, we've got a prize waiting for you. Watch this space. So our goal is to get a hundred subscribers on YouTube, please. So if you want to leave a comment, feel free down below, website, Twitter, Facebook, we're on these channels, LinkedIn. So from me, David Logan, IT Geek, it's goodbye, have a great weekend, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. And goodbye from me, Willie Nicole, the Techno Dinosaur, and what he said. <laughs>